VDOT commissioned a detailed traffic analysis that showed that a roundabout would significantly improve traffic flow through this new intersection versus the signal options that we were looking at. Roundabouts are a preferred intersection treatment for a variety of reasons, but most significantly are their improvement in safety as well as their improvement in efficiency. Because traffic is moving in the same direction throughout a roundabout, there are fewer opportunities for two cars to collide. So roundabouts have been shown to have up to a 75% reduction in injury crashes. In addition, they've got up to a 80% reduction in all collision types that you may see at a traditional intersection. The roundabout will be mostly open to traffic with this next phase we're going into. Um, exit 150B on-ramp is going to be opening up to traffic right here, which is that new, our newest on-ramp that we're building, and we'll be closing the 150B on-ramp that existing today. The 150B off-ramp from 81 is going to be continuous to Route 220 North, so that yellow right there is going to be open to traffic. The phase that we're moving into is going to be working on Route 11 between the roundabout and 220, and this Route 11 southbound will be closed to traffic, but the northbound direction and access to all the businesses, Hardy's Pilot, it will remain open throughout the construction phase. And they will also be working on the 150A ramp and the 220. The problem is it's going to be repaving and restriping this area while nighttime operations and getting the traffic to line up with the new patterns. The roundabout at exit 150 is a multi-lane roundabout, which may look just a little different to some drivers. But the rules for using this roundabout are the same as a single lane roundabout. The difference here is that you'll want to select your lane as you approach the roundabout um, because you should not change lanes within the roundabout itself. If you want to turn immediately to the right um, at the roundabout, choose the outside lane and you'll then wait for a gap in traffic, enter the roundabout, use your turn signal and make an immediate right. If you're going straight through essentially or three quarters of the way around the roundabout, choose the inside lane or what would be the left lane on the approach. Again, enter the roundabout after yielding to traffic already on the roadway and then use your turn signal as you exit the roundabout. Again, watching for pedestrians and bicyclists within the crosswalks.